Hello YouTube, this is Chris Klein at Alma Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. And today we want to talk about some of Yamaha's digital pianos, the Clavinova and the Arius line. We're going to focus on three pianos and the immeasurable joy and value they can bring into your household. These are killer, killer instruments, robust with features. We just can't say enough good about them and we want to look at the 625, or excuse me, the CLP 625 the CLP-635, and the Arius YDP-184 today, and the subtle differences between them. All right, so out of the three keyboards we're gonna to discuss today, the first one we want to talk about is the Clavinova CLP-625. Now, out of the three digital pianos, this is the least expensive, but it's still feature-rich. And one of the great things about this digital piano is it has a graded hammer, fully weighted keyboard with escapement. And what that means is it feels like a grand piano. It has the same feel and weight. It just feels stunning. And if you are a uh, new or uh, a beginning pianist or you're just starting to take this journey and you're starting to learn, we can't stress the value of having a weighted keyboard enough. It's gonna make you play better, better technique. It's going to feel like, or it's going to, or it will translate when you go to a real piano, because the feel is very, very similar, and that is incredibly important. Incredibly important, especially if you're brand new to the game. Once again, I can't stress this enough. Now, another great thing about the 625 is that it has CFX and Bosendorfer piano samples built into the engine, so it sounds unbelievable. We're talking about two of the greatest pianos ever made in the history of humankind. I can't stress this enough. It sounds glorious. And on top of that, it has 256 note polyphony. Now, what that means is you're never going to run out of notes while you're playing. It is a digital keyboard, right? So there is a computer or a brain associated with it. You don't want notes to turn off as you're moving up and down the keyboard. You want them to ring out and sustain naturally. And this will do that up to 256 notes. So if you have 256 fingers, <laughs> or if the keyboard actually had 256 keys, you could press them all at the same time and every note would fire. Now, another th great thing about the 625 is it will record MIDI performance data. So you can actually play the keyboard and record what you're doing, the movements, the actual performance, and then it will play it back for you. Now don't get that confused with audio because they are very, very different technologies. MIDI is a computer language and it's just recording you striking the keys and then coming off of the keys and velocity and other things that are associated with the actual performance or you playing. You can actually hook this up to your computer as well and this can become a MIDI controller. So if you're, if you're working in some kind of program uh, like Pro Tools or Logic or Fruity Loops, this can become your input device to those programs too, which is amazing because having a weighted controller is going to feel a whole lot better at the end of the day than just a standard keyboard with the spongy keys. They're both great devices, but having a weighted keyboard feels a whole lot better. The CLP625 also has other sounds built into the brain. Not just your traditional piano sounds like the CFX and the Bosendorfer, but jazz organs, kind of like a Hammond B3, a harpsichord, a pipe organ, strings, and some other sounds as well. So if you are a budding composer and you're working on different types of arrangements, well, you have some room to experiment a little bit, not just being confined to the piano sounds, which is not a bad thing because the piano sounds are amazing on this instrument. But you do have some choices, which is really, really cool. Another great thing, there's so many, is that you can plug your headphones in and the rest of the world doesn't have to listen to what you're doing, which is really, really great, especially if you live in an apartment or a dormitory. You can practice all night long and you're not going to disturb anybody and you're gonna build your chops and become a better player. And last but not least, Yamaha offers a five-year warranty on this instrument. They will come to your house and tech it out themselves if anything were to go wrong with it. That is a real testament to the kind of company that Yamaha is and the instrument that they have built. They have a lot of faith in this, and so do we. It's a great instrument, and we move a lot of them. You really can't beat it for the price.
We just talked about the CLP 625, and now we want to talk about the CLP 635. Now this instrument costs a bit more, but the feature set that comes with it is extensive. Okay, Like the 625, this has the graded hammer keyboard with the escapement, so once again, it feels like a grand piano. It just It's such a treat to play. It also has the CFX and Bosendorfer samples incorporated to it, so it sounds amazing. It really, really does. But then it has a lot more sounds as well. Where with the 625, we had uh, the jazz organ, harpsichord, a couple of other instruments built into it. With the 635, the sound set becomes way more rich with basses, different types of pianos, different types of electric pianos, um, strings, multiple string sets, vibraphone. Uh, there's a lot more built into this. Not only that, this instrument will communicate via MIDI or you can record MIDI performances and once again connect to a host computer so you can record your, you can record your performances to a DAW like Pro Tools, Logic, Free Loop, so on and so forth. But this will also record your performance as audio or a waveform and you can take a flash drive and insert it into the keyboard. You can save that waveform to the flash drive and then you can load that waveform onto your computer so you can email it or manipulate it in some kind of DAW once again that will allow you to also manipulate audio. So right there, you've already added a, a few really, really rich features. More sounds, the ability to record audio as well as MIDI. The 635 has a 16 track sequencer built into it, which means you can record up to 16 different parts on the keyboard itself. So I had mentioned something about working on arrangements and building compositions on the 625. Well, on the 635, you can incorporate 16 different sounds. So you can really build up really rich and robust arrangements with just this one keyboard. It's really, really powerful. And to add to all the sounds that come with the 635, it also comes with a rhythm component or drum beats that will play standard rock beats for you, ballads, a 5-4 type of rhythm if you're really into Brubeck and you want to play with some of that. There's Latin rhythms built into it. It's really, really a lot of fun. And it makes the playing experience much more enjoyable because it feels like you're kind of playing with the band. Especially if you start working with the sequencer and you start programming in bass lines and other parts. I mean, it's just limitless what you can do with this instrument. If you want to play along to your favorite songs, this actually has an aux input built into it. So it has a mini jack or an eighth inch that you can plug into. If you want to feed your iPod or your computer into it and your favorite song, you can learn how to play along with these songs, which also enhances the playing experience. I know when I was growing up, I was always playing to the radio or to my favorite record uh, because I'm older. Um, and having the ability to plug right in to this unit and use its speakers or the headphones to listen to playback of your favorite song while trying to learn is an absolute delight. Like the 625, the 635 also has that glorious five-year warranty associated with it. So once again, if something happens to your instrument, Yamaha will send a tech to your home and get you back up and running so you can have fun and joy in your life again with this fine instrument.
And last but certainly not least is the Arius YDP184. Now this keyboard from a price point standpoint falls right between the 625 and the 635. You're going to lose some of the functionality of the 625 and the 635 primarily in the keyboard action. The keyboard is a graded hammer uh, weighted action but it loses the escapement so it's not quite like a grand piano but it still feels really really good. It's a great keyboard to play on. Uh, having the weighted keys is great for building muscle tone in your fingers and to just get a more accurate representation of what it feels like to be on a piano, whether it be uh, a, a console upright or a grand piano. Now, the YDP184 also has the CFX piano library built into it, but you lose the Bosendorfer that comes with the 625 and the 635. Still sounds absolutely amazing. A CFX is one of the greatest pianos ever built. I love getting behind one whenever I can. And this has that library built into it, as well as a lot of the other sounds that we discussed on the 635. Various basses, strings, different types of digital pianos, and so on and so forth. It's very, very feature rich, just like the 635. You just lose the Bosendorfer. And like the CLP 635, the YDP184, has drum rhythms built into it. The same libraries or sounds or rhythms that's built into the 635. So you can actually play along with the drums and again, it feels like you're playing with a rhythm section with the band. It also has the ability to record uh, 16 track sequencers, so up to 16 different parts. And it communicates once again via MIDI and you can record audio to a flash drive to transfer your computer for editing later or to send to grandma or to do whatever you want to with it. Maybe you want to add it to your SoundCloud page, something to that effect. It's feature rich. This is an incredible keyboard, especially for the price. Also like the CLP635, this has an auxiliary input. So it has an eight inch jack and you can plug into this with your iPod, your computer, a ghetto blaster. Uh, and you can actually stream your music through the speakers or the headphone output so you can play along with your favorite songs and try to learn today's hits. So the YDP-184 also has a warranty associated with it. This is a three-year warranty and it's a drop-off warranty, so you would have to take it back to an authorized dealer to have it serviced. Yamaha will not come to your house to take this instrument out. But it's still a robust warranty. They really stand behind their instruments and they are so well built. So all three of these instruments are fantastic digital keyboards. One of the big bonuses, and you can see that these are the same form factor, is that a digital keyboard such as these, they can go just about anywhere and they're easy to transport. So if you're a college student, it's going to fit in your dorm room. If you want to have one of these in your living room, uh, it, that's not a problem. If you're a bedroom producer and you live in an apartment, this is gonna work, right? And it's also actually gonna be a great MIDI controller if you're, bed if you're a bedroom producer, for those of you that are working in DAWs like Fruity Loops and, and Pro Tools, uh, some of the ones that we've mentioned earlier. If you are just learning how to play, if you're a student, 
It's gonna build up your chops, it's gonna build your fingers up because of the weighted keyboards, which is so incredibly important. You wanna have that experience. Your hands have to be strong, right? If you are a seasoned player and you just wanna work on your chops all the time, well, you can turn off the speakers, which all three of these instruments have speakers, just by plugging in headphones. That defeats the speakers and now you're playing in your own world. And as you move up with these three different keyboards, there are different enhancements that happen in the headphones that make you or give you the illusion, sonically, orally, of you actually sitting down at a piano. So there are 3D effects that happen with the, within the headphones, but, but these effects start to grow as you move up in the line. They start to change and become a little more robust, a little more fun. And then on top of the portability, these keyboards will also never go out of tune. So whenever you move an acoustic piano, whether it be a grand or a spinet, a console, upright piano, they need to be tuned, right? They need to be tuned probably twice a year, especially if you're playing all the time. You want that pitch to be on because if a piano's not in tune, it's not gonna give you a very pleasant playing experience. These will never go out of tune. They are digital samples, they are multi-sampled, so they're gonna to respond to different velocities however hard you strike the key, and they're always gonna be in tune, they're always gonna sound glorious, they record well, they play well, they are fantastic, amazing instruments for everybody. Beginner to seasoned professional, they work for everybody and they feel and sound absolutely amazing. You really can't beat them. All right, so thank you for watching and listening to our demonstration and uh, comparison and contrast of these keyboards. There is so much more that I could cover. We've just kind of touched the tip of the iceberg, but I think I really covered the salient points here for you today. So with that being said, I want to remind you to play a note and change your life, and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And down in the comments, we're gonna have a link to a piano buyer's guide, which might even give you further insight into this journey when purchasing a new digital piano or acoustic piano for that matter. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I'm Chris Klein, and we will see you again in the future.